Wherever possible, it is always in our best interest to join matching surfaces together to make one continuous surface. This has the obvious benefit that we can machine the surface in one go using surface finishing techniques, using the surface finishing strategy, which will then give us one continuous flowing toolpath rather than machine the individual surface separately when we will end up with the separate toolpaths which will obviously have to be appended together and we'll have fresh air connection moves between them and we may also end up with witness mark on the finished part where the surface where the toolpaths uh, meet each other this is also very beneficial when we're talk when we're dealing with five axis toolpaths uh, because then it eliminates the need for us to create a reference surface so in this example we can see we have the two semicircular surfaces which we're going to join together to make one complete revolution now the prerequisite the prerequisite for joining two surfaces together is that they must have obviously matching laterals at the start at the end of one surface and at the start of another surface and they must have the same number of points on each of those laterals if that is true then we can append the surfaces successfully in this case though we can see that one of the surfaces is part of a much larger surface so the selected surface first of all needs to be split at the end of the adjacent surface so we select the lateral and use the break surface command so there we see the two individual set surfaces and now we can select the end of the end lateral of one of the surfaces and join it to the other surface to give us the complete revolution so it is as simple as that for joining the surfaces together and we can continue this process to to join more than two surfaces together once we have the appended surface we can now simply use the surface finishing command which machines the surface directly so there we have the animated toolpath continuous flow around the surface which gives us a much better toolpath than if we were to machine them separately.